Hello and welcome to Channel UTM. Uh, this is a tutorial based research channel and uh, usually I will show you the research in action. That's why the videos are quite long. Um, that also helps you to get in tune with what I'm doing and uh, enables you to see things easier. Um, I always show you the research uh, results and uh, basically the channel is um, uh, here to instruct you, show you how to um, undertake this research yourself. Um, it's the only way to uh, start asking some serious questions. So um, this is part two of um, Enceladus, uh, which is a very small um, Saturn moon. Uh, if you want some more information about it, then um, uh, have a look at part one. There are uh, there's various bits of information on that. It's nice to know a little bit about where where we're looking. Um, uh, this is the image we're going to be looking at today, and uh, I say small moon. There you go. That's the UK. I live around there. And uh, yeah, it's a very interesting place. Um, now, I've done part ones, twos, threes of places before, and they're not really getting many views at all. I don't know why they're any more or less interesting than other places. Um, this place is phenomenal. Um, and uh, here's a bit more information. This is from the uh, NASA Photo Journal site. So I will be showing you more parts of this um, because the images I've been looking at um, are getting more and more revealing. Um, and the thing with the channel is, um, the reason why the, the videos are quite long is um, purely the fact um, even when I'm not showing you the research, which is a very slow process, um, there is so much to look at. So I'm not going to give you, and I won't give you anything which is, you know, if, buts, maybe, could be type sort of thing. I try and uh, extract as much information as I can so there's so there's pretty much no doubt about what you're looking looking at so but I do suggest as I move through the, um, the video uh, to pause and um, just take the image in get used to it because uh, we're not used to looking at blurred uh, images it's quite difficult um, but once you click into it then uh, well it'll blow you away it amazes me every time I look at this stuff so is the mission logo uh, my favorite still going to get a t-shirt of that done but uh, that's another story so this is the image um, and the one we're going to be uh, the one that I've worked on um, I flipped um, because you can see uh, stuff much better we'll have a closer look at this as you can see here the image is coming quite large um, but don't let that fool you uh, they still muck around with the images uh, immensely um, as you can see I don't understand why this is a, a mosaic image um, why there are uh, crispy bits and blurred bits and stuff it's you know if you've been there and you photographed it then let's see the whole lot right now the interesting thing about this is um, I have uh, spoken about um, the familiarities between all these various planets and moons and um, on this moon in particular um, it's, it's saying to me it, there's a, a different sort of design in the construction of these um, structures, buildings, um, colonies, however you would like to uh, call it. 
and I'll leave that up to you. So basically we're going to have a look around here. I'm going to point a few things out. I don't think I'm going to do any research. I do find it very difficult not to. But um, let's let's just get into it. So we'll start up in the in the top area here. Um, this has been enlarged. Um, it's about one gig. Oh no, it's not. It was one gig a minute ago. I don't understand these programs. I'm still learning. Um, so, like I say, it's tutorial based and. Um, there are no tricks, nothing hidden. Um, I'm letting you know everything I do uh, to pull these um, anomalies out, out of the images. Uh, so it's that simple. If you're interested, there are tutorials, all the other previous videos, the majority, m majority of them are, uh, they show you exactly what I'm doing. Um, it's only a few tools that I use, um, but it's very effective, very time consuming, very addictive. Um, uh, depending on what videos I've been putting out and stuff, um, I'm up against it with time wise and stuff and trying to get things done. Um, so you just have to bear with me, guys. Um, and I apologize again for saying I'm um all the time. So. It is, uh, it's all new to me. It's still a bit nerve-wracking. So, okay, let's get on with it. Now, I don't tend to tell you... Well, I do. I have to point things out. But, uh, like I say, you need to pause and... Uh, take the image in but what what we're looking at and with all the other videos I'm doing as well we're not just looking at one or two little things which is if but maybe could be looks like um, if you research the image far enough uh, It seems to me that uh, the the surfaces are just completely saturated, covered with um, structures. Um, how would we say communities, civilization? Um, intelligent designed stuff it has purpose it has direction things are connected um, yeah and like I was saying earlier with the uh, finding a different type of uh, design I was thinking well why 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 would that be I mean Everywhere we've been looking at, it's very similar, and you can make um, very clear comparisons with uh, the stuff that we're that we're looking at. And uh, in an area of this map, I call them maps sometimes. Um, it looks different. I don't know why. I don't know if it's uh, to do with a particular. Um, Typography, environment that these, uh, whoever or whatever is constructing this stuff is living in, or they're a different species. Um, but it's very interesting to try and decipher it. Well, and think about this stuff. It's crazy. It blows your blows your mind. So. This is very busy. Um, if you haven't seen any of the other videos before, there's a, there's an angle we're looking at. So this is not a bird's eye view. So you have to imagine the fronts, the sides and tops of things. I'll 
try and point something out so you can get a grasp of that. So then things will start making sense. But this does have a uh, a familiar um, structural layout. Um, things seem to be constructed on um, what looked like or could be. Not entirely sure. I think I was looking at <clears throat> Ceres. I'm not quite sure. We actually found some um, some footings, some some struts underneath these uh, connected platforms or tunnel type structures. <clears throat> so if you follow the the lines you can actually see here, then there is stuff on top of it. There's an obvious shadow underneath which with the angle we're looking at um, could be a gap or it's slightly raised so he said he wasn't going to do anything so you can't help it I mean it's uh, something I've explained before you can keep going on this stuff I don't know if you've seen the Ganymede one and I just recently did an update on it and it's just phenomenal go and have a look at it so I will zoom in and out <clears throat> because it's different levels it's easier to see certain things as to not um, but there are some what would you say smoking gun type sort of thing no no two ways about it elements to this to this map so it's an infrastructure it's a layout that you're sort of looking for this needs more work doing on it uh, to bring out some more of the shadows and stuff don't know if this is too far in view it really depends what uh, size screen you're looking at uh, viewing this on um, I use quite a large screen um, it is the best way to view view this stuff it gives you the option of uh, moving your position to view the screen as well so Okay, let's just quickly go back to here. I'm going to uh, um, let's have a look. Where are we looking? We are looking. Let me see if you can notice the uh, the differences here. And I'd say, you know, the untrained eye, you know, you 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 won't be able to necessarily pick anything out, especially if you're not using anything which you can uh, zoom in and out with uh, it's uh, it's something you would get it's something you get used to so okay let's get back into this one You start by going somewhere which actually you can see this area here. Let's have a closer look at it. All these areas, just pause and have a look, have a good look around.
I haven't got a scaling on this, um, so I couldn't definitely tell you. Let's just check quickly. They normally give you a pixel to such and such. But no. This area hasn't been worked on. Um, but I pretty much guarantee it has got stuff on it. You can see these here. So I don't know if this stuff extends completely through. And this is this is the uh, the difficult thing about viewing uh, images which are so densely packed with um, anomalies. Uh, it, it becomes one great big uh, anomaly, I, I, I suppose you'd say. Um, but this is the extent, and uh, we're we're. Um, I'm not quite sure how many planets and moons that we're into yet, but there are asteroids uh, on the way as well. And uh, yeah, I've been hearing a lot about um, you know the the colonized solar system, and uh, it's looking very much like it is. As to who it is, I. Honestly, don't know. I think it was when I got down to about here, I think it was this area. I noticed like it was it was looking very different to a, to much of the stuff which which I've been finding. Um, and it could be, like I say, due to the terrain, if if it's built into the terrain, or vice versa, maybe. Um, don't really know. You see these, imagine this being a high point. That's a high point. That's a high point, that is there. I mean, there's a clear square here. An angle, rather. There are familiar stuff, like um, we, we, we see a lot of these. Um, it's like the top of something, and we've seen rectangle, um, sort of eye-shaped, lentoid, um, with small domes or towers on the top of them. So they, they're, they're, uh, um, in this image but the underlying structures just seem they seem a lot more skinny a lot more uh, angular um, which is interesting
What you do notice with a lot of this stuff is um, how industrial it looks. Um, in regards to if there is any industry, you simply don't know. Try and let me know if um, the the zoom percentages are too much, too little, not enough. Um, see, there's a bit of striping which we've spoken about before you we were thinking that this may be the from the processing and stuff but the more uh, the more we uh, enhance this the more it seems to be part of the design of the structures I'm not saying it is but we've noticed it in other videos um, and when you look very close at the the pixels in the actual image, let's just go right in. You see there are high points and stuff on this. This is what makes me think different because of the color the tonal change in it. Don't know. There's just lots of things to consider. And we've had a look at the uh, how the images are put together and stuff on the on the moon and what cameras they use um, in relation to the initial quality that they could get from these images. Um, It's very interesting and like I say the, these images are always different they're, they're, there's always something different about each each image unless you're looking at a series of photographs from, the, from one place I uh, just finished this just before before I started doing the, the video. It seems to be everywhere. I don't know if you can see here. This blurred area. When you've been working with um, like software, uh, imaging software for a long time, you can notice um, what's been done to certain parts of the image. And like I've shown um, on a few occasions, um, me myself covering stuff up and if you didn't know that I hadn't done it at the time then uh, you, you, well, you wouldn't know um, but there are areas where which are which are blurred out you can see this here it just has a slightly more softer look uh, more smoky look anyway I did say it was going to wasn't going to be research and tutorial so I was going to show you what what I found, but it's very difficult. So you're constantly seeing stuff. So 
there's more things here. This needs to be pulled more. Right. Pretty unusual, I've never seen it like this before. Maybe you're having difficulties if you're not used to seeing this stuff. Um, the more you view this stuff, the, the easier it will get. Um, Unfortunately, we don't have uh, access to or privileges of being able to see the nice crispy uh, pictures. Okay, so I'm just going to pull out and find another little area. I've done a few spots here and here. That's what I tend to do when I start, just to check out the terrain and see see what it's saying to me. Um, this stuff might pixelate because it's much much smaller um, the um, buildings themselves seem to be much much uh, smaller basically um, and I haven't blown this image up enough yet so it might pixelate a little bit see the stuff coming through here it's probably good to always do a little bit of this and then you can sort of gives your brain time to adjust excuse me So it's very busy, but on a smaller scale. stuff is a lot more sort of spiny spiky with lots more bits and bobs on it um, see there's a top or something here with another little Something sticking out of the top. Does that make sense to you? Clearly designed.
and it's across the whole surface. Look at this here, you can see the, the tearing platforms. I'm sure a lot of people have a great difficulty getting their head around this. Um, Might have to tilt your head a little bit on this. Oops. And I'm, I'm sure a lot of people do. Well, I, I, I can't imagine a lot do because there's no one really watching the channel. There's only a few of you guys. Um, you know, they're saying, you know, I can't, I can't see, I can't see anything. And it's, you know, it's, you know, why do, why do we necessarily have to recognise anything? You know, you know what? If you looked at the other video, it's not. You are only going to relate something to remind you of something and uh, you just have to take into account that this is you can't see this stuff in the first place and uh, it's been hidden it's difficult to explain so you can see the density of this stuff going on now that might just look like a you know your average moon surface i have to think of a um If you were looking at a place on Earth, a cityscape, and we're looking down, there's a slight angle on it, and these are the built up areas. I'll try and point out some. See, here's another platform with a bit sticking on it. Here's another one with another bit on it. Here's another one. There's some platforms here. There's a lot of this stuff connected. And this is what you will get confused about. The sheer complexity of it. Let's have a quick look at where are we? Where This is the area we're looking at. I think this area is where I very first started on it. So like I say, pause and try and get your head around it. this. Where is 
looks like it carried on through, but I can't see anything, can't find anything there. Okay, and then down. So complex. What I was saying earlier, it's um, because it's difficult to make out, probably means that it has been built into, onto, and around the, the environment, the uh, typography of the land. in essence makes it easier to cover up in the first place. This photograph does contain a lot of angles. Very interesting. this Craziness. This area here. I think we've looked at this. <clears throat> Just want to show you as much as we possibly. It's without a doubt image. Again. So uh, let me know what you think. If you want to see more, you will be seeing more, but there'll be different um, photographs. Um, insane. Um, I've got more moons from Saturn coming. Um, Going to do some more Google stuff as well, unless you haven't seen that one already. 
and uh, as always thank you very much and uh, I'll see you soon